Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If you're meeting for the first time, welcome. And for those of you that are old friends and family, welcome back. As you guys can see, oh my gosh, we're back in my office. It's been a minute. It's been quite some time. There's been a lot of changes going on in my life, mostly all positive, actually pretty much all positive, but changes nonetheless. Some of those changes needed to happen within my office space, within the apothecary and the place that it is that I create. So there's that, but I am happy to come back into a place of permanence, <laughs> my permanent residency here within my office and going back to sharing these readings with you guys as we have done in the past. So I hope that you guys are doing well. I have the chart for this full moon that we're going to be looking in uh, pulled up on my left June 21st at 2020. Uh, June 21st, sorry, 2024, and the time that I have for the full moon that I pull the chart is 9.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So go ahead and look into the symbolism of the numbers 909 because I really feel like they are going to tell us a lot more. It's going to add a lot, a lot more layers into the reading. Having said that, guys, I will be looking into the astrological significance of this chart, but I also have been feeling very, very called to shuffle and pull tarot and allow my intuition to be activated even further deeper through the symbolism, the symbolism found within tarot and the astrology charts. The deck that I will be working with will be linked down below. The astrology chart will be pulled up on the video while we're talking about this, while we're sharing the time so you can follow along. And towards the very end of this reading, I'm going to try to break down every single zodiac sign. So make sure that you're checking in with your sun, moon, and rising. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm ready. I'm totally ready. So first things first, guys, I want to start off with the fact that the high, well, it's not the high priestess, but it is giving high priestess vibes. The hierophant is here. She is the first tarot card to jump out and it's interesting because with Capricorn energy in general, what we tend to see is a nod toward tradition and the way that things have been established in life, in society, in the world, fill in the blank, right? So right away, when we are walking into this full moon, and the first card to jump out is the Hierophant, there is a nod towards uh, structure in your life to the ways of the world, the, way that, the ways that things have been established. Now, I haven't pulled the next two cards over, but right away, intuitively, what it is that I'm sensing is something similar to the energy of chaos, but I see it as disruption. This is not something to scare you or to make you nervous. If anything, I feel like it's something, the word that's coming through is I is like provoked. It's something that you have set into motion. It's something that you have wanted. It's something that you have been craving set intention for. The issue with this is that sometimes when we start setting intention, as I'm saying this, I actually feel like fear, like a feeling of fear deep in my heart, like something kind of shaking me or freaking me out a little bit. I want to tell you that before we dive into this reading, um, Spirit's kind of guiding me to look, or before I dive even further into what it was, I was just saying, Spirit's guiding me to look at Pluto. Pluto uh, retrograde right now, transiting through Aquarius, and this beautiful trine that's happening between Pluto, the planet of death, transformation, and Jupiter. So these energies right now, what is really standing out to me at the time of the full moon is this need to... Um, this stirring that it is that I'm sensing for you to begin to pick up, to uproot, to uplift your life in some significant and meaningful way. With the full moon happening in the sign of Capricorn, and stick with me here, because I really, once as soon as I open the doors to kind of allow my intuition to be spoken to, the messages are coming through. With this full moon happening in the sign of Capricorn, the foundation of your life is changing for the better, for the highest and greatest good. With that, how these changes can come through can really shock our system because sometimes it's not exactly what it is that we're expecting or the way that we expected it to occur. But 
this is going to set the foundation. It's going to be the bricks, the bricks that are being layered for your highest and greatest good. That's going to be healthy. That's going to be healing. That's going to be productive and abundant. When I'm saying the word abundance, I really want you guys to look at what abundance means for you in this season in your life. For a lot of you, the, the word abundance has changed significantly. Great, great. In the past, abundance might have meant finances, like monetary gain, um, the val like the, the 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 physical value of things, but now it's almost like what ab abundance means for you is something that I don't uh, maybe it's not money can buy, but it's not having to compromise. The word is that just came through is your freedom, like not having to compromise parts and bits of yourself or your character or life. Um, there's this need to go into a space where you are free. To do, for some of you guys, this means to explore, to travel, to learn, to ex to do different things that spirit is calling for your life, where you're being led to go within your life. For others, this means more free time for yourself and realizing just how precious life is here on earth. The next thing that spirit is really kind of guiding me to talk about, and I'm really kind of going with the flow here, is relationships and how... You have learned, someone here has learned a lot about how they've compromised themselves and their own values for relationships. Why? Because they saw themselves as someone who was committed and loyal and dedicated and they start to realize that yes, you can be all those things without being disloyal and doing a disservice to yourself, your path, your health, your own happiness. This is putting others before yourself or following others path and plan before you consider and ask yourself what you want, you are starting to find a new voice. The word that Spirit is saying just now is you're breaking free. Breaking free, breaking out, it almost feels like an eruption. And I don't necessarily see this as, for everyone, as a break, like a split or a divorce or a breakup. I see this as an internal irritation where you just... It's almost like an act of rebellion, um, how this energy is coming through. I don't know if this is because Pluto, again, the planet of death, transformation, regeneration, is retrograde, returning back, ret retracing its steps back in the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius needs distance. Aquarius needs to be separated so that it can, again, be unique. And sometimes that can come through as rebellion. So maybe that's why. And with this beautiful uh, trine between Pluto and Jupiter that's happening here, it's act Jupiter will bring abundance, blessing, wisdom, philosophy, um, especially to the way that you um, are processing information, the way that you are analyzing things, what you're saying, who is around you, not just... Uh, well, in your close knit, it doesn't mean that these people, right, this this circle that spirit is talking about, it doesn't necessarily need to show closeness, meaning like sisterhood, friendships, that type of thing. It's who is in who you find yourself spending the most time with. That could be something as significant and insignificant as your coworkers. It could be if you are a grocery shopper. I don't know why that's coming through like Instacart, like the customers, these transient type of energies, even though these people may not seem like the most important, somehow they end up being the people that you spend with the most. So, um, whose time you spend, spend with the most, um, a spirit. So wait really quickly. So I kind of also being called to, um, I hope I proved my point there. Um, so anyway, uh, the next thing that it is I'm seeing is this this break, this breaking through. It's like I just saw like a, a book, like a page kind of turning. Um, interesting because some of you guys, I'm seeing this book as a text. I'm seeing it as a, like a spiritual book. It's almost similar to a Bible. It could be a Quran. You guys, this person, whoever this is, if this message is for you, you may find yourself being called to different spiritual practices, different spiritual beliefs. It's interesting too because I'm seeing this temporary time or these these people that are around you, you may be inspired by people or energies that may seem insignificant, but the people that you're crossing paths with are teaching you about something deep within yourself, especially with your path changing. It's helping to point you in a new direction. For example, let's say you are someone who your spiritual beliefs are evolving like a lot, like you as a whole are shifting. 
and you find that you are bumping into or you have a conversation with someone in the grocery store about their practices, about their beliefs randomly, it kind of sets into motion divinely, sets into motion a feeling, a vibe that you have been sensing that makes you want to go home and do more research or connect with the communities that are very similar. I, I do see this as a tribe shifting, um, meaning like your friend, not friendships, but like, again, who you spend your time with is going to change because your energy, your, your energy, your vibes are really shifting and your energy is starting to match different frequencies. This is not necessarily a higher or lower vibration of frequency. It's just a different type of vibe that you're, you're being drawn to right now. Back to the full moon though, because Spirit is asking me to return back to talking about this full moon that's happening in the sign of Capricorn. These are more signs of what is to come. I also want to tell you, there's this emphasis again on the word temporary, that some of the major changes that you are being broken free from in your life right now, you have to understand that they are actually going to be temporary. Even though Capricorn is very concerned with longevity, the long haul commitment and bonds, your expectation may be that whatever changes that are going on in your life right now are going to be forever. The truth is, is that spirit is showing that where the changes are happening right now, they are not necessarily going to be permanent, um, like permanently fixed in the way that you see them. But the what you're moving away from will change forever. And that is not a bad thing. Again, some of you guys have really called these changes into your life. You are proactive in setting intention, whether you were literally at your altar setting intention, in your prayer closet, praying about it, going for walks, talking about it with your friends or family or, or just speaking out loud to yourself or journaling. Whatever the case is, there is something that you were continually feeling and sensing within your spirit that has begun to set into motion, has begun to set into motion. Um, okay, wait, uh, with that, I feel like shuffling the tarot a little bit further and I will go into the rest of these cards a little later. But for right now, let's go ahead and dive into, what is this change here with the sign of, uh, I wanna say Aquarius, but it's Uranus transiting through Taurus. For a lot of you guys, okay, Six of Cups is the first card to jump out. A lot of you guys, this is uh, significant because this has to do with revisiting an old vision, an old plan for your life, or an old idea, or something that you have been sitting with but may have been sabotaged, meaning that it didn't get off the ground or it didn't get the wings that it is that deserved because there's other things that whenever you would try to pursue it and start it, it would have to go on the back burner. It would always take a back seat to other things that were more important. This is one of those things now that is being set into motion. It's what is important and valuable to you. The other thing that it is I'm hearing is that for some of you guys, you had fear when it comes to starting this new chapter, this new beginning, or it's not as easy as you were expecting to be as easy and effortless. There were some challenges and there was some help and there was some major changes and things that you had to do that would disrupt the ways of your world as you know it. And for, for very genuine, authentic and valid reason, this is why it was kind of put off again and again and again, because your stability, your foundation, the way of your family, the way of your business, the way of your life, the way of your health, you were not trying to change it or you knew that it needed to change, but you weren't ready to take those steps. Um, the next word that is that I heard just now was baby steps and spirit was kind of saying that in, in some ways you were taking baby steps like small steps, but it almost seems like truthfully like someone would kind of revert back to kind of tolerating or going back to the old way. And those baby steps, even though they seem small and insignificant, over time they add up over time, especially as time passes and we still find ourselves maybe a few steps to the left or the right or front or behind, but not totally out, out of the current predicament. Okay, next thing, this is so random, but next thing um, that is coming through that we need to talk about is for those of you guys that are planning your future. Now, this has a lot to do with, as soon as I said that, like, it's like juvenile excitement. It's kind of giving like someone who just graduated high school, someone who is just newly free and just kind of venturing out 
and there's a lot of apprehension as far as what is to come opportunities what is in front of me what am i facing uh okay okay <laughs> as i am saying that i am seeing very very tall energy very very tall like i don't know if this is trees i don't know if these are buildings i don't know what this are huge wave but the word is intimidating it's very it's it's interesting because how spirit is saying it is in speaking to me is almost like reminding you how small you are reminding how significant you are but how tiny like you are in the great big world um and how like you could be wow guys i just really feel this so strongly but i'm still i'm sitting with it you could feel like this whoever this person is you feel like you're taking steps to be proactive and to make positive changes in your life showing up being consistent doing the hard work doing the labor for some of you guys it's like physical like working out not that you're biding time but it's a it's a demonstration of your commitment your dedication but at the same time, it just feels like there's this awareness of the path ahead of you that may just seem so overwhelming. And of course, naturally, this goes without saying, it's like you're hoping for the best. Now, I say this goes without saying, but there's some people that when they are starting off on a new venture in their life, they're actually anxious and don't want to take steps forward. I do see you wanting to take steps forward. That's different. That's what's different about this energy is that there is this enthusiasm and excitement, but also anxiety because there's a wonder of like, what is out there? What is, what am I facing? Let me sit with that because I feel like there's a message there. First things first, what I'm hearing for, and what I'm sensing is to not when you are feeling apprehensive, the word is apprehensive. When you are feeling apprehensive with facing the future and what is to come, what will help and what your angels, your guides, ancestral spirits are saying right now is to not expect yourself to have everything planned out. To if you if you're expecting to have an answer, if you're expecting to know and to have this plan, you will be greatly disappointed because there's so much pivot and change that is ahead of you of in this venture of your life. There's going to be moments for some of you guys. Oh man, like I hope this doesn't discourage you. There's going to be moments, prepare yourself for brief moments of isolation where you're going to feel alone and you're going to look back and, and feel from where you're at in the, in the near future, where you're going to feel like you made a bad choice, where you're going to feel like you made a mistake, but it's not, it's, it's really going to be an uncomfortable moment of reflection on what has happened in your life. This is a reflection, Spirit is saying like, this is gonna be a reflection of your growth. Look at it more, when this happens, this is why they wanna say it to you right now, because if not, then you will feel discouraged, you might revert back, or you might just feel bad for longer than you should. Like. When this happens, know that this is the time for you to reflect on your growth and how far you've come and to feel those feelings. They are going to be disguised in, in disappointment in the present because your healing or the blessing that you're in looks different than what you have broken free from. Sometimes, okay, spirit is, there's this message here too about like sometimes, oh man, I think I've just lost it. As I heard it, I like lost it. Not that you try to go back to the way that things were, like a sense, it's like sometimes normal. Sometimes when you're in the midst of change and it's healthy and it's productive and it's abundant and it's a blessing, it's that attention and this change is abnormal to you that it's quick oftentimes quick we want to run back and the image that it is that I'm getting is Little Red Riding Hood and like how that's so specific how when she was looking for familiarity she ended up almost being befriended by a wolf that tried to hurt her so you have to understand that Ooh, girl okay for some of you guys this wolf 
or this thing that is not healthy for you, it can look, it can be disguised. Okay, I just said that, but like it can be disguised as something that's productive. Like it could be a job that makes you a lot of money, but it's not worth it for you to continue in that same way. Okay, then I want to look at the higher, like the higher font again and bring it back full circle to this full moon that's happening in the sign of Capricorn. Full moons. Oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy. This is how you know this is not, you know, this is not me when I'm channeling because there's no way that I could come up with this. Full moons. Full moon, okay, full moons in general, they bring out our emotion, they bring awareness, they bring everything up to the surface. The depths of the ocean get stirred, they get stirred up. And with Capricorn, this has a lot to do with your own commitments, your own expectations for what your life should, would, could look like. And as a spiritual person, ooh, girl as a spiritual person, as a person who is divinely favored by God, who is a favorite of the divine, who has the wisdom, the strength, the power of your ancestors, who is hearing and seeing signs from angels and the guides that are trying to protect you and shield you and guide you, you will not, you cannot expect to continue to walk down places and paths of the past that were good for you, healthy for you, constructive for you, beneficial for you. But over time, they shouldn't last because even a good thing too much becomes negative and destructive and will set you off of your path. This is not to say that you are not on your path right now because if anything, the word is coming through is liberation. You have been liberated, disconnected, dis, dis, like separated from from what it was that you were expecting it to look like. And it had to come through space, de separation, disconnection, failure. For some of you guys confronting the idea of failure, but it wasn't failure. It's like, it literally is redirection. It literally is saying like, you've, you've, we've done this. It could be years of you, 10, 20, 15 years of you showing up or four or five years of you showing up what I'm trying to say is a chunk of time of you showing up in the way that is expected of you. But that was then, this is now. And in the now, it's transition. In the future, it's foundation. It's stable. It's abundant. And your values have shifted. Your priorities are refocused on different things. And although it may be uncomfortable, this is the new way for you. This is the new foundation for you. This, this is not to say that you weren't on your path. You weren't making, that you were making poor choices by learning and growing. No. For some of you guys, give yourself grace and all that you had to learn and the way that you had to learn it and the time that it took you to learn it. Really, that's another thing too that you need to work on manifesting, even with the Six of Cups, is having gentleness with your own naivety, with your own expectations, with your own heart, with your own sensitivity, with your the way that you love, your compassion, your desire to show up and to give, to be generous, and maybe not even having that energy reciprocated. Some of you guys are breaking free too of... Um, like old, I don't say like a childhood patterns or things that you that you had in a, a a season of your life where you were a lot younger, not in age but naivety. Like, kind of how you're just kind of naive in how you view people, the world, yourself, business, expectations, organization, like all of those things. It was so naive, and through the journey and through the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations, you realize like, okay. You know, there's definitely a better way or I'm going to take what I've learned and apply it to a different area of my life and it may look, it may pivot and look so great and so different, but this is what I'm called to do and this is okay. Spirit is telling you that this, this is okay. This is what you need to hear right now. Okay. I'm ready to flip these cards over. <laughs> I feel like we have just done a lot here. We've done a lot, but I'm ready to flip these cards over. Give me two seconds because I just want to make sure that my video, my camera isn't going to crash out. So the next two cards that we have here, wow. Do I want to flip this over? No, I want to ask for clarity. The next cards that we have here, 
definitely knew that this wanted to come out. The Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Emperor card. The first card to jump out was the Emperor. This has a lot to do with masculine energy, which is bringing me to Chiron's transit through Aries, as well as the North Node at the time of the full moon, sitting in the sign of Aries. Squaring off, hold on, with Mercury, how we rule the way, how, like what rules our mind and communication, but also how we process information. For some of you guys, this has a lot to do with, so interesting, but in the past, this could have to deal with as deep as daddy issues or abandonment issues or toxic masculinity, how it's shown up in your life and how you're expected to protect yourself, how you feel like you may need to be protected, an inability to be vulnerable, um, a, 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 tense, a tension, a forcefulness, an aggression that is coming from survival. Others of you guys, you may have looked for protection and power and support from a masculine energy who is a predominantly important figure in your life. But I'm almost seeing, if not you replacing this masculine energy, meet like physically actually replacing it, then you in somehow embodying what it is that you need in a way that is healthy. Um, I just heard the word formative. So it could be you f learning how to show up in a way that is, uh, gives you courage, gives you um, strength, gives you power, gives you peace. Boundaries are another thing that's coming through. And this is what you need to start working towards. For some of you guys, this is you. This is you taking back your power. And this is you actually starting like we, it's like I just saw like an image of someone taking a sledgehammer is that what it is it's kind of like a dull hammer but it, if you swing it it kind of like knocks and breaks the bricks down breaks them down it's like someone what the image that is that I'm getting this is wild the image that it is that I'm getting is if you have a brick pathway and this brick what pathway has been there for years 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 these are good bricks or slate or something but the whole world, the whole society, or the relationship, or whatever this, whatever this is, whatever this is, whether it be a corporation that you work with, whatever, they're like, this is the way that things have been done. But you have a gift, and you have a vision, and you tried to respect it for as long as you could. But then one day, whatever the circumstances is, whatever the circumstances are, you decide I'm taking the sledgehammer because the universe is giving it to me, and I'm going to break this slate up, and I'm going to create something. I'm going to break up the slate, and I'm going to create a mosaic. And all of a sudden, a city or a relationship or a life or a job that was once looked one way of old his history that is not boring people but isn't drawing new people in now takes history and merges it with arts, with art and innovation and creativity. And it starts attracting people all over the globe because you honored the, the past tradition with your present gift to build a better future for yourself and for others. That is the energy that it is that I'm seeing here for the full moon. It's like you take the sledgehammer and you break down what was and you create because you were divinely and guide divinely led. And this is where that rebellion had to come from. It had to come from you being patient but then that patience wearing down and you saying I'm going to change everything like I'm going to change and I don't this could really get me in trouble everybody could hate me it's just a metaphor but like I really feel called to change everything and I know that this is not the rules this is not the way that it was I know the importance of this the value of this but I want to try regardless and you just divinely follow your creativity you divinely follow your feminine energy you're listening to your intuition you're watching your dreams your dreams are speaking to you which reminds me I had an intuitive download the other day about dreams but I forgot to write it down but the fact just now saying dreams again reminded me that that came through anyway this is you merging I was going to ask you guys to remind me to talk about the intuitive dream, the intuitive message that is that I have about dreams, but don't remind me because I don't want to feel pressure to try to remember what it was that I forgot. <laughs> 
it will come back. It, it does come back. Sometimes it comes back. Other times it's lost. And if that's the case, I need to continue to work on my discipline when it comes to writing down messages. You guys know that I do really well with it in certain seasons, but then I kind of fall off depending on what's going on or where I'm at. And at the end of the day, the discipline needs to be ha happen regardless. Anyway, I went off on a little tangent there. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, um, <clears throat> Can we take a water break? Mm. Yeah, I just feel, um, it's you taking initiative. It's you, for some of you guys, you heard like the opinions, the voices of people who care about you or people who feel like they know, like this could be a wise elder, but it's that they are not you. And this is why, this is confirmation for you to continue to kind of do things your own way. I also feel like um, what the way that you are meant to do things right now is so fresh. It's so new. It's totally like, it kind of reminds me of how if you have an online business and you're using social media, you know, how different business businesses are on social media than the way that they have been before. So even though you may be consulting business owners in the past who have brick and mortar or mail order things, they still don't, they have experience, they have wisdom, they have knowledge to share with you, but you still, you can take that, but you still have to pivot and figure out for yourself in this new territory because businesses on social media are technically very brand new in society and history. So that's what it is that I'm saying is like, you may have heard the voice, the wisdom of other people, whether it was invited or uninvited, but at the end of the day, you have realized Okay, I, you have to merge what is right and do what is best for you, even though you may be honoring the perspective, the opinions of others. This is like, um, for those of you guys that are manifesting marriage or getting married, you may see the wisdom of those who are in he healthy, happy relationships, but still realizing that your relationship with your partner is also very unique and to consult your higher self to consult your intuition especially if you're feminine energy especially if you're feminine energy because feminine energy will look through the lens of spirituality to find divine intervention and masculine energy will do what is reasonable right in the rules and protect we see that in the lover's card I break that energy down in uh, Sacred Circle Tarot School for those of you guys that want to study the tarot even further. Let's look into the future, guys, because we are, I don't want to spend too much time. Yep, Queen of Pentacles in the future. So this has a lot to do with abundance, prosperity, financial security, the ability to know your worth and to attract your worth. It's also a nod that the future ahead of you is good. I also heard that you, if some of you, someone here needs to know that they are on the right path, even if they have to switch up dramatically or even a slight turn, even if they have to change the way that they've been doing things, like turn in a different direction, it's going to pay off. For some of you guys, this is very simple, but it's hard work and it's the quality of the work that is that you do that really speaks for itself. It's giving Bahati life. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope that this, let me just ask for confirmation clarity and then I'm going to go into each of the zodiac signs starting with cancer because look at that high priestess. Yeah, of course the high priestess, I knew that she was going to show up at some point. And at the very bottom of the card, we, at the very bottom of the deck, we have the queen of wands. So this is about, um, again, listening to your intuition really at the full moon. I know that Capricorn is so grounded, so earthy, so uh, stringent and strict, but the, let that be your practice, your discipline, your journaling, whatever it is that you do to listen to your intuition, whatever it is that you feel called to do, whatever this journey that you're literally already on, because that's the other thing too, I'm surprised that I don't see this here is the chariot card. There's movement here. There's dramatic, powerful movement from your will from what you set intention for and your physical activity that either life has pushed you to start taking momentum or you said enough is enough and you're moving forward. For some of you guys too, I'm seeing a lot of creative expression. Pay attention to that at the time of the full moon with the vertex following the sign of Leo. 
just being bold, being loud, being you, totally you. And if you are struggling with this, this has a lot to do with uh, healing the parts of yourself that need to feel courageous, need to be seen and heard in the way that authentically only you can do. Don't look to see what other people are doing. Don't look to see what other people has made them successful. Don't look too closely to see what has made one marriage work and the other one fail. Don't look to see the diet that worked for this one person that has a totally different body type than you. Listen to your body. Listen to yourself and ask yourself, what is it that I need? What is it that I need? What is it that I need? What is it that we need? What is it that I and start to rebuild with faith, with dedication, with determination, the same fear and ferocity, 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 feroc ferociousness, fine, that you've had in the past, still lives within you. It's being activated and pulled out of you. So this is where you are meant to carry forward, bringing that back in. Some of you guys have been very courageous in the past or things have happened. Um, and Spirit is saying, do it again. I also feel like someone's going to open up a restaurant or something because I just heard I just heard and smelled like for me it smells like Jamaican food. Okay, let's go ahead and break down each of the zodiac signs down. Starting with Cancer. What specifically does Cancer need to hear? 7 of Wands. This has a lot to do with your stress levels taking on Some of you guys, Cancers, you might be taking on too much, like for real, for real. The full moon is drawing your attention to what it is that you are taking on. You might be over, I don't say, the word that came through is actually overcompensation, but you may, yeah, eight of wands reverse. Cancers, Cancer, sun, moon, rising, it's time for you to slow down and really assess what you need to give your attention, your time to. Cancer, just because you can do it doesn't mean that you should. Just because others can't do it and you can doesn't mean that you are a replacement for them. Cancer, there's something here that you, I just heard the word in avoidance. It's like almost the more that you're doing for others or all these external things, the less that you are drawing attention to yourself. Um, you're avoiding doing difficult things. For some of you guys, this has a lot to do with your security and something that feels intimidating, overwhelming to you, and that's why you keep putting it off. Cancer, get it done. <laughs> that's your message. <laughs> Stop trying to do... You gotta, you gotta put a lot of things on hold, Cancer, in order to handle whatever this thing is. Leo is next. Oh, I got chills. Leo, Leo. This card wants to come out. Mm. Okay, Leo, this has a lot to do with you feeling your feels. Okay? Um, the cards for you to jump out are actually the Knight of Cups reversed, Two of Swords reversed, Magician card reversed, King of Cups reversed. That has a lot to do with emotions, blocking of your emotions, stunting of your emotions, numbing of your emotions. It's almost like you're trying to do things for the Capricorn full moon to pay attention to this. It's like you're doing things to make yourself feel empowered or beautiful or whatever the case is, like to give yourself confidence, but it feels like false confidence um, or a sense of bravado when in reality you might need to just deal with something here. Whatever it is. Or you might need to feel your feelings and you're just not trying to do that. You might be trying to just have fun, to disconnect, to dissociate. If you don't, if Leo, it's giving someone who, yeah, it's giving someone who wants to spend so much time focusing on happiness that they can't uh, um, adjust to like when things are not happy and joyful and op get, like, give you optimism, you just... It's kind of similar to cancer where it's like you're going, 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 um, and you're not dealing, you're not handling your emotion here. Vertex point is also uh, transiting your sign, Leo. So this has a lot to do, for some of you, it's uh, emotion, or not emotion, a uh, creativity, the need to show your art, showcase your art, and stop 
holding it back, blocking it, blocking it, or doing things that stop you from being creative. Like it's almost giving distractions too. I don't know why there's this energy of distraction that keeps coming through. Um, it's going to be hard for you, Leo, because I feel like there's a lot of things that are pulling your attention in different directions. This could also be a lot of different opportunities and want to prove yourself in all these different ways, but I just also feel like you might be avoiding something. I don't know. I'm getting avoidance still. So weird. Not handling something, not seeing something. You might be traveling a lot and needing to go home. You're just away from home too much now. Like now it's too much. Go home is what it is I'm hearing. Um, some of you guys have been very, like, tr I don't know why I'm getting, like, a lot of travel, and you need to go back to your yoga routine or eating, like, your routine that makes you healthy and vibrant and getting into the sunshine or sunlight or change in your environment from dusty air to fresh air. I'm also getting, for some of you guys, uh, spending where it is that your money is going. You might be trying to plug up emotion with spending and like those type of vices happiness is there for you leo you just need it's like you really because th th literally they're talking about your happiness and like avoidance here so you're gonna want to face the feelings if there's something that you are avoiding or putting off and not letting your vices kind of steer the ship virgo my chair keeps rolling back. Why? So weird. Virgo, Virgo. Ooh, cute Virgo. <laughs> okay, we got some cards here, girl. Virgo. <clears throat> wow. I just heard if you if you want something, like, like ask for it. Like, if you want something, say something. It's so weird because the way this energy came, it's like a challenge a little bit. Like, oh, if you want it, then why didn't you say anything? Like, I would have given it to you. But it almost feels like, I don't want to say sexual. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on the internet. It just feels like, like a... Um, like edgy, I don't know if that's the right word, like a little edgy challenge. <laughs> like if you want it, if you wanted it, you should have said something. I would have given it to you. That's what it is I'm hearing. Like, woo, Virgo. Okay. Sun, moon, rising. Two of cups, four of swords, the high priestess reverse, seven. Of, okay. Yo, Virgo. <laughs> Virgo, the energy that's coming through is some of you guys may, this is, even though I said the word like, sexual. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on, the, on, on YouTube. YouTube is so weird these days. It's almost like a desire, something that you desire, but you are not allowing yourself to explore that desire. There's a lot of procrastination and stunting yourself here. Um, your angels and your guides for this are saying that you kind of need to let yourself explore this. You, you kind of need to allow this in. You kind of need to speak up this is not anything to do with like work. It could, but this doesn't have to do with work. This has to do with you exploring a side of yourself that you tend to turn your head away from. There's a theme that is, is, keeps showing up in these last readings just now. Six of Swords is, okay, ooh, I just heard too little too late. Don't let your whole life go by without you exploring this desire what is that some of you virgos some virgos right now may be scratching their head because that's how tuned off they are to this exploration start looking into it whatever it is or begin asking your angels and your guides at the time of the full moon to reveal to you what is it that what is this desire that is that I'm lacking or that I'm numbing or that I won't allow myself to see and explore, that I won't allow myself to see. Um, if this has to do with intimacy, this is about really 
Not that it's like in uh, high standards, which Virgo, of course, is known for, but it's about um, the release, the surrender, the vulnerability that it requires for you to experience what, where you're being led, especially when it comes to pleasure. Now, pleasure should, can, of course, connect to intimacy, physical intimacy, but it can also connect you to, like, life and fun and joy and being able to relax. That's your reading, <laughs> Virgo. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Libra. You're next. Wow, I love how short and sweet these messages are. I'm not mad at it. Libra, Libra, Libra. This card right here. All right, we have Libra, we have Three of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Three of Wands, this is the card of looking out, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Libra, you have a really good idea or something that, something that is worth investing in, something that's worth building, and this sounds so like, like, duh, you know, but it's so cliche, but I keep hearing, like, keep going, like, keep going, Libra, that um, if you're waiting for a breakthrough, if you're waiting for something to happen, whether, but this has to do with, like, longevity for you, like, it could be a business idea that is that you have an invention, something that's coming through as far as the word is as invention, something that you're inventing, something that you're creating, it's coming directly from you, your idea, source, keep or a relationship keep going that your angels and your guides at the time of the full moon are saying it's time for you to keep going to not give up to not burn out to not get I, I don't see you uh getting distracted like the other signs I see you pretty focused and then taking breaks it does feel very balanced but your your sign your message Libra is to keep going because your season is coming this may not be your season right now, but your season is coming and your hard work is going to pay off. You putting yourself out there is going to pay off big time. Scorpio. Scorpio. Rebirth card and the chariot card reversed. Okay, Scorpio. Um... For someone here, this can be resisting uh, direction and resisting like starting over. Uh, I am getting the first thing that came to my mind is monopoly, like do not pass go, do not collect $200. This is not a bad thing, Scorpio. This is about you needing either something in the, there's something that you dropped or something that you need to pick up to help you gain what you need in order to move forward stronger, more powerful, more courageous, more confident, more direction. If you, Scorpio, what you don't want to do is power through situations knowing fully well that there's something here that needs to be fixed, that needs to be addressed, that needs to be taken care of, that needs to be handled. I know that can be frustrating, Scorpio, but it's worth it for you to continue in a position of empowerment. If not, I feel like it's, it's I'm getting an image of a bear claw, like I don't, the bear claw um, traps that they put in the woods to trap bears, which are horrendous, but you don't want to step into that in the future. And spirit is saying like, there is a, there's something here right now that is teaching you, showing you, guiding you to not advancing without handling and addressing something that you have been trying to drag behind you without taking it off, without handling it. Now, this could be an actual physical thing that you needed to deal with. It could be energy. It could be trauma. It could be something that you... Again, you don't want to dress, but you need to you need to take care of it. It could be for some of you guys, this could be going to therapy and re 
like working through some limiting ideas, beliefs, or pain. Let's work through it. Uh, that's what it is I'm really hearing is like working through it. Seriously. Sagittarius. What is the next message for you? Okay, Sag. Ten of Wands. The Queen of Cups reversed. It's crazy because, and don't get mad, but I actually heard the word divorce or separation and this doesn't mean that this is something that's coming forward in the future. It's about like splitting from like much needed necessary splitation from you from another thing because you were similar to Scorpio kind of dragging a dragging like a, a heavy weight not behind you but on you like you're strong and you're carrying it on your person this could represent emotions this could represent baggage but you have to understand right now gain, gaining clarity asking your angels and your guides ancestors your higher self what is it worth what is worth for you carrying what is worth you committing to continuing to charge forward with this if it feels worth it for you to continue to carry this burden Whew, okay, just got a message with that. You need to ask your angels and your guides not what it is that you want, but what they see for you to carry. And if they tell you to let something go, have the courage, the have the courage, the fortitude to let it go and to trust, to trust, to trust that. Especially when it comes to people. This is so specific, but for someone here, it could it could feel like someone or something that you love very much, but they choose not to do better. Like they are not deciding to do better. They are choosing to uh, do worse, like to not make positive changes. You can't want it better than they do. Sagittarius. Okay, so that's your message. Sagittarius, what is next? Ooh, Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Swords, King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the Empress card here. Um, what's coming through right now is, uh, ooh, I just heard the word sensory deprivation. That's very specific. Um, you may feel like there might be a feeling of overwhelm, but it's, it doesn't feel negative. It actually feels like you are, uh, coming home to yourself. If you have been overburdened by things like life and responsibility, you were called to take a break, to step away, to disconnect, um, to change again, like how you were normally doing things for this betterment of your mental, emotional well-being, also your intimate relationships, your personal relationships, and the way that you feel about yourself. Aquarius, you're doing a lot, a whole lot, and it was giving you, it's not that, this is not personal, Aquarius, this is going to be a tough message for you. It's not personal. If you measure the output of the energy that you are giving to others to help a greater goal or greater project or to show up for all these things, um, you may have been, spirit is kind of guiding you away from continuing to show up in that same way and start to see your worth and your value in re not relaxation, but honestly like balance within your life. You may have had guilt with what you have been called and what spirit is turning your head to kind of um, stop showing up in the same way. And uh, uh, Aquarius, give yourself what you're doing when it comes to kind of like giving up and showing up in all these many different ways and all these many different roles and being a leader and being the person who is capable, this is something that is good. And but you may not feel that way right now. You may it may give you a lot of anxiety. It may when you're doing the thing that is right for you, let's say it's you reading a book, let's say it's you going for a walk, let's say it's you not showing up, you know, working overtime. It's in those moments when you're actually doing the right thing, it, the invasive thoughts may be coming in and you may be thinking like, oh, I should be doing this or I feel guilty or this is happening, this shit is hitting the fan. Stay put, Aquarius, stay put. I know that this is uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable season within your life. 
Um, some of you guys, it's like text messages that you're not responding to, not answering your phone when people are calling or when a specific person is calling. Or it could be your child. It could be like a, a child who just con is or something that is constantly overly relying on you or people go to you and expect you to just show up in the same in this way where at first it gave you a lot of joy and pleasure to show up. But now you're like it over time, it's overwhelming you. It's bombarding you. So Aquarius, keep that phone on D&D. Keep taking the time for it as that you need for yourself and um, you're not doing anything wrong right now, okay? Balance balance is important, not only for your for your mental and emotional well-being and spiritual well-being, but also your relationships around you. Look at that, Six of Swords for Aquarius. All right, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, I'm getting an image for you of green drinks or green juice. So you might be detoxing. That's very specific. You're the first sign that I've actually got a physical image for specifically for you, I think. Um, green juice, specifically green juice. Seven of Pentacles. Let me see your chart. Yeah, you have Saturn transiting through your sign right now. Also, Neptune is in the final stages. You may be dealing with, you may be dealing with uh, cutting out unhealthy uh, foods, diet, lifestyle, and replacing, and trying to, for some of you guys, you might be working on healing Wow, three of swords. Um, you might be working on healing and finding new patterns, new behavioral patterns that are more healthy for you and more supportive of you. Um, keep doing that. If you are having any type of physical ailments, especially because Saturn is transiting through your sign, stressing you the out, honey, and Neptune is making it very hard for you to see the root of the problem and the pain and the suffering or why, why do I keep having this outcome? Why is this my experience? Why can't I have a healthy body, relationship, career, drive, whatever the case is, where did my, why did my creativity dry, dry up? There's something here that is subconsciously impacting you. It's like an, an, an energy, a, an, a vibe, an essence here that you may not necessarily be able to put your finger on. Having said that, detoxing, seven of pentacles right here, detoxing is going to help you to pinpoint because the more that you take out, the more that you will see an improvement once you've removed that thing. So that's what Spirit is saying here is trying to, where you're at right now, trying to pull off certain things um, that you have been doing, ingesting, taking in, consuming, showing up for, whatever the case is, certain jobs or stuff that you are, um, energies, specifically energies. It's going to be an energy, a vibe. It's not going to be what it is that you expect. I do believe that. But there needs to be a disconnect, a separation from you and one thing. And the way that I see that is through a detox. Whether it be actual food, dietary, lifestyle detox, detoxing yourself from certain people, friendships, connections, whatever the case is. But there's a detox of some sort that's happening here. Okay, Aries. It's time for you, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. What is it that you need to hear right now? I just heard the word, I'm moving forward, but it's giving like Spongebob. So funny. Very, very funny. Um, yeah, Aries, you have a fresh start. You have a new beginning. You have healing. You have excitement, enthusiasm. If you're not feeling this right now, you will. Or just know that um, the way that the universe is working and moving around you, it feels very promising. It feels very excited or something to be excited for. For Aries, I, may, I, I do see you kind of Someone here might be treating themselves to something like a physical thing um, or this. I'm, I actually saw like a physical representation of a bag, like a purse or a book bag or something. And it's showing what it is that you're carrying. It's showing your burden. Aries, you may be lightening the load or selling things or getting rid of. For some of you guys, this might actually be financial abundance and security that's coming through for you. But it's more like you're kind of prior. It doesn't come with you losing things. It actually feels like a gain. Um, Aries. So basically what I'm trying to say is you might be getting rid of stuff in your life or you may not have treated yourself to something and somehow spending money or treating yourself to something helps you in the long run. For some of you guys, this might actually be like travel, a trip, and you're buying a new suitcase that is needed and it will just help 
make the journey and the trip way more easy and effortless. You're just prepared. It's something about like being prepared for the future, getting excited for the future and putting in investing, like investing in some way it's going to pay off in the long, in the long haul. Aries, I also don't think that you're going to see all of the blessings and the details of what is to come for you in your life. Um, that can be daunting, but I just see this need to infuse you with enthusiasm and excitement and optimism because although you can't see every little twist and turn of the of the adventure that you're about to go in in your life, it's going to be well worth it. It's going to wake you up. It's going to be a shot of caffeine is what it's going to feel like. For some of you guys, this is not an actual trip. It could be a new relationship or a crush. It just opens up the door for more things to come. Be open to that process. Don't try to lock in and try to force things to happen, Aries. Be open to the process and see where things go because you even sprinkling a little bit of your excitement and your openness will open up a lot of doors and you would be surprised where those doors are going to lead. I promise you. Taurus, let's go ahead and look into your energy. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What is the energy? What is the vibe for my Taurians? It's funny. I just looked at the astrology chart and I saw that Air, um, Mars is transiting through your sign as well as Aquarius, which can be really, really tough to deal with. It gives you a boost of uh, energy and spark and passion and drive and fight, but also a um, Uranus is here making life a little unpredictable and unexpected for you Taurus energies so you may be on the verge of life changing this is not going to be a direct overnight immediate change and surprise for the majority of you but life is about to change and it has a lot to do with uh, like separation kind of meaning like something is growing and maturing and you may that could be you, it could be this thing, and you may need to give it space, but there's still a connection there. So in the meantime, this is going to help you to do things more for yourself. Ventures that you want to take, physical activity and exercise are things that keep you move mobile and moving that you couldn't do necessarily the way that things once were. But the Taurus, the energy is going to free up so that you can prioritize yourself and your own goals and your own what you need to do again for you I hope I'm making sense with this so even though you may be having to let go of something or surrender something it could be like I don't say a child but like let's say if you're responsible for taking care of your cousin and your cousin is on summer vacation so they go to summer camp this is going to lead you to uh, Taurus to be able to you're still worried about them, you still love, you're still in connection, but you are also, um, it's going to free up your time and your space to do a little bit more things or a lot more things where you are looking after you. So this feels really good. It feels very active, but there does seem to be like some level of closure that it is that you get, Taurus, that is necessary, maybe a little bittersweet, but focus on what you're cap what, how this frees you up, like what this frees you up for is essentially what it is I'm trying to say. The cards that you have here, seven of pentacles reverse and six of pentacles reverse. This may have you a little fearful of the future and what is to come, but do, do, do trust, um, you know, uh, this, this new level, this newfound freedom and this new opportunity again to explore not uncharted territories, but things that are going to be good for you, exclusively for you, selfishly, indulgently for you. And I say the word selfishly in the most positive way possible. Gemini, let's go ahead and look into your energy, last but not least, Gemini. What is the vibe for Gemini? Gemini, you've been going through it lately. There's been, it's Gemini season now currently, and it just seems like all of the, all of the zodiac signs are like crowded in your sign. It's almost like you're having a party or you're like the center of attention. Everyone's looking at you. It can be a little overstimulating where Gemini, you're in your element, but it might be a lot. It can be a little overwhelming. I, I, it's interesting that I'm saying that because I see Gemini, there's a need for you to kind of step away and take breaks, to slip out when no one is looking, for you to catch your breath, to smoke a cigarette. For, do you smoke? Um, to This is so crazy, but um, I don't normally support smoking cigarettes, obviously, but especially 
especially not in today's times, but you may have a vice that you do that you sneak away and that you indulge in that you may not necessarily be the most proud of, but spirit is kind of seeing you kind of like sneak away for a moment in order to do something indulgent for yourself, even if it seems toxic or bad. I'm not encouraging you to do bad things. It's the tarot. <laughs> But yep, yeah, guys, we have Ten of Cups reverse, and we also have the Strength card. It's in the Seven of Swords. It's doing, like, doing something, yeah, the Moon card. It's doing something and keeping it a secret. Yep, the Fool card at the very bottom. Slipping away, sneaking away, and doing something in private or doing something for yourself that is self-indulgent. Others may frown at it, but if you keep this a secret, others don't need to know. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. I don't make the rules here. Gemini, that is your message. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to deliver. All right? So thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's definitely been a vibe. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you would like more readings, more one-on-one -on -one readings, then there is Bahati Love Notes for you. It's exclusive readings for a small community. We kind of dive into uh, concerns. We address those concerns, whatever questions that is that you guys have every few days, every couple of days. Um, I'm gonna leave the links down for that down below as well as a coupon code so you can save some money because it is a membership, but it won't. it's not over $15. Um, until then, the tarot card that it is that I'm working with will all be linked down below. I'm sending you guys all of my love and blessings for the full moon that's happening in the sign of Capricorn. Please take care of yourself. Look after your friends, your family, your energy, uh, and the world, honestly. Be kind to each other, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.